Hello, every pony. It's Litus Moon. All right. I really wasn't going to do a reading today. I had a long reading and I was still pretty tired. But because this reading was too good to resist, I think I'll just soldier through it. Anyway. <laughs> Oops. That that sounded pretty forced. <laughs> Do over. Hello, Ruby Pony. It's Lotus Moon. Oh, this weekend was pretty exhausting. And I am surprised at myself that I was able to do seven readings in one re week. Ugh. Ugh. It's too early in the morning for me to be messing up. Or rather, it's too early in the morning for me to even be awake. I need to go back to sleep. Moon Dancer reads every book in Equestria. Written by Madame... Mad, 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 damn, mad, da, uh, <sniffs> buck. Moon Dancer reads every book in Equestria. Written by Madame, mad, bleh, 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 buck. <sighs> it's too early for me to make mistakes like this. I think I should go back to sleep for another hour. Moondancer sat at an old wooden desk cluttered with many quills, journals, inkwells, and bags of hate chips. The glow of the candle illuminated the small sector of the dark room. She must have been on her fifth book of the day by now. Her eyes glanced over to the war- Buck. I shouldn't consider that a mistake, but still. Buck. Moondancer sat at an old wooden desk, cluttered with many quills, journals, inkwells, and bags of hay chips. The glow of the candle illuminated the small sector of the dark room. She must have been on her fifth book of the day by now. Her eyes glanced over the worn pages of the pottery textbook. If she didn't end up as a magical nerd with her muzzle stuck in a bunch of old books, Moondancer swore to Celestia she would probably be a pottery professor. She became lost in a 2001 page tome of... <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not funny, but... Oh... Oh, sweet Celestia, that is a lot of pages. No, I can't talk. My college textbooks are longer than that. Oops. Moondancer sat at an old wooden desk, cluttered with many quills, journals, inkwells, and bags of hay chips. The glow of the candle illuminated the small sector of the dark room. She must have been on her fifth book of the day by now. Her eyes glanced over the worn pages of the pottery textbook. If she didn't end up as a magical nerd with her muzzle stuck in a bunch of old books, Moondancer swore to Celestia she would probably be a pottery professor. She became lost in a 2001 page tome about centuries old jars and mugs, the lengthy walls of text and grainy photographs of pots were a pleasure to Egghead's eyes. She soaked in all of the wonderful information about the different styles of clay and methods of sculpting over the years. Within three hours, she finished the enormous book and set it aside to read the next one, an equally large book about a question of flowers and trees. Moondancer was giddy with excitement at the thought of learning about the silver arrowback flower or the Manhattan red spruce. She opened the book to the first page. Wait, I've read this before. Four years ago. Moondancer skimmed through the familiar introduction. Her brows furrowed as disappointment washed over her. She tossed the book aside and angrily munched on a hoofful of hay chips. That would have been my last book of the night. Now what? She pondered to herself. She couldn't go to bed early. It was 1 a.m. for Luna's sake. 1 a.m.?
That's not early. That's late. Oops. Well, no, actually, that is early. Late would be about 3 a.m. Wow, Moondance and I have a lot in common. We're staying up late sometimes. Oops. Moondance has skimmed the familiar introduction. Her brows furrowed as his appointment washed over her. She tossed the book aside and... Ah! Fuck! The librarian looked confused. Um, alright then. If you need anything, just give me a holler. She said, trotting away. Moondancer giggled. <laughs> sure thing. Moondancer went back to pursuing the thousands of books. Tea time for eggheads? No, I read that. Tent making for the years? Ew, that one was awful. Terrific tear trap. Wow. What the? What the heck? Terrific tear trap. <laughs> terrific Tito's terrifying. Uh, terrific Tito's terrifying. Uh, I'll get it this time. Terrific Tito's terrific traveling through. Darn it. Terrific Tito's terrifying travels through. Uh, uh, terrific Tito's trap. <laughs> yeah. Terrific Teeter's terrifying travels through the tree chops. <laughs> I bit my tongue. Wow. Try saying that three times fast. The librarian looks confused. Um, alright then. If you need anything, just give me a holler. She said, trotting away. Moon Dancer giggled. <laughs> sure thing. Moon Dancer went back to pursuing the thousands of books. Tea time for eggheads? No, 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 I read that. Tent making through the years? Ew, that one was awful. Terrific teeters terrifying travels through the tree. <laughs> that one is going to forever trip me up. The librarian looks confused. Um... All right. If you need anything, just give me a holler. She said, trotting away. Moon Dancer giggled. <laughs> sure thing. Moon Dancer went back to pursuing the thousands of books. Tea time for eggheads? No, I read that. Tent making through the years? Ew, that one was awful. Terrific teeters, terrifying travels through the treetops. Even worse. The more she scanned the large novels and textbooks, the more stressed she became. How is this even possible? The Cantalot Library has every book in Equestria. I can't just end up reading them all. After hours of searching, she came to the last section, the Z's. And this was her final chance at finding a book she had not read. Zebra heron mating rituals? Zoology in Yak Yakistan? I've read them all? Finally, she came to the last book, simply titled Z. Is that the librarian looks confused um all right then if you need anything just give me a holler she said trotting away moon dancer giggled <laughs> sure thing moon dancer went back to pursuing the thousands of books 
Tea time for eggheads? No, I read that. Tap making through the years? Ew. That one was awful. Terrific teeters, terrific. Again? Tripping up again? <laughs> the librarian looked confused. Um, alright then. If you need anything, just give me a holler, she said, trotting away. Moondancer giggled. <laughs> sure thing. Moondancer went back to pursuing the thousands of books. Tea time for Eckhart's? No, I read that. Tent making through the years? Ew, that one was awful. Terrific teeters, ter terrifying trap. Buck! Why me? She could barely comprehend this. How could she read thousands of books so fast? Most ponies barely pick up a book in their life, let alone read every single one. She left the library with a melancholic expression. The librarian was puzzled as she saw one of the most prolific readers in Equestria leave without a single book in Huff. Moondancer's entire life seemed to eclipse in on itself. Eclipse in on itself? How does a life clip eclipse in on itself? I meant, ah! How could you read every book in Equestria like that? There's currently 24,709 books in existence. It would take multiple lifetimes to even read half that many. I don't know, Twilight! She screamed at her, tears forming in her eyes. She took a deep breath. Look, I'm sorry. It's just that I've done everything there is to do, and I don't know what to do next. I've lost the only thing that truly gave me joy in this life. If reading a bunch of outdated biology textbooks is the only thing that brings you joy, you really need to get out more often. Twilight said with a blank expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendship is harmony or whatever you say it. <laughs> whatever you say it. <laughs> I think I should eat before I continue reading. Maybe a nice apple will help me concentrate more. Or a banana. Nah. I think I'll have some crackers and cheese. That'll do the trick. Excuse me for a moment, every pony. The Cantalot Library has every book ever made, and I've read them all. Even the ones in Twilight Gold, the adult section. I'm lonely, okay? <laughs> wow, I didn't think Twilight is that pure. <laughs> I mean, she's, what, <laughs> 19 or something? Surely she would know a little something about the adult section if she even has one of that in her own library. <laughs> that was good. Are you saying I should just do something exciting with my life instead of stay holed up in my house like the anti- <sighs> Anti-social mirror that I am. Why does that sound familiar to me? Alright, because I used to be like that. Still I am, but not as much anymore. Dear Princess Twilight, Sorry for the interruption. It has come to my attention that Moondancer has read every book in Equestria. Because of this impressive achievement, it is with my great honor that I hereby dub her Princess Moondancer. Princess of Books and Knowledge. I'll do the whole transporting her to a space-time dimension and having her reflect on her life while I sing an annoying song thing in a little bit. Just let me finish this delicious cake with Luna. Princess Celeste. <laughs> So Princess Celeste.
Celestia will dub Moon Dancer a princess after finishing cake. <laughs> Sweet Celestia, <laughs> can somebody please do a reading telling the origins as to why Princess Celestia is so in love with cake? I will definitely do a reading of that and deeply, deeply enjoy it. <laughs> Good one. <laughs>